About a week ago, uh, Congressman, you uh, said that the uh, Prog Congressional Progressive Caucus had 70 or so uh, communists. Do you have any uh, regrets about those? No, I don't regret it whatsoever. And I think that if you would take the time to study the political spectrum of ideologies, you would understand that at the turn of the century, uh, American communists renamed themselves as progressives. If you study the Woodrow Wilson administration, people referred to the Woodrow Wilson administration as a progressive administration. Now, what I would hope that people would do in the media is uh, was maybe you should do a little research and start looking at what political ideology are, what they stand for. There's a very thin line between communism, progressivism, Marxism, socialism, or even as Mark Levin has said, statism. It's about nationalizing production. It's about creating and expanding a welfare state. It's about this uh, idea of social and economic justice, and you hear that being played out you know, now with fairness, fair share, economic equality, shared sacrifice, ad nauseum, ad infinitum. And it's also about creation of a secular state. And this whole argument that the liberal left is trying to take you down, talking about women's contraception, is really about a federal government that is reclassifying religious organizations uh, for them to be able to manipulate them however they wish. Uh, so that's what I wish people would focus on. Now, let me also bring something up. Since I've been up here, first time ever in, you know, in politics, past 15 months, you know, we've had members of the Democrat Party stand up and uh, talk about how Republicans want to kill women. We've been called racist. We've been called sexist. We've been called homophobes, Islamophobes. We hear people constantly talking about the Tea Party right-wing extremists of the Republican Party. But I don't see anyone, you know, getting upset and challenging the other side about this. And I welcome anyone to have a discussion and a debate about political ideology. Because when you look at what is happening in this country right now, you tell me that this government is not nationalizing production. Automobile industry, financial sector, health care, cap and trade did not go through the legislative process. Look what they're doing through the EPA as far as the energy sector. Look at what's happening with uh, the National Labor Relations Board. Who would have ever thought that we'd live in the United States of America where the federal government would be telling a private sector organization where they could relocate? Now, you look at some of the bills that have come out of the uh, Congressional Progressive Caucus. These are individuals that voted, voted against having a balanced budget amendment, but yet they wanted to have a constitutional amendment so that they could redistribute wealth. Now, I don't know if that's in keeping in your version of a constitutional republic, but you know, when I went through my studies, uh, it surely was not. So I stand by what I'm saying, and uh, it was very interesting that people on the left are not debating the point that I made, they just don't like the fact that it was made. Mr. West, I have a follow-up. Since you say it's just not an issue of nomenclature, uh, do you really believe in your heart of hearts that they adhere to the political philosophies of Chad, I just went down the line and gave you examples of legislation. I just went down the line and talked to you about the means. But look, when, okay, you want to talk about creating and expanding the welfare state? Look at Inauguration Day with how many people were on food stamps. Look at Inauguration Day, how many people were in poverty, and look at where we are today. You want me to tell you exactly where we are? Okay, as of 27 March, we had 46 million people on food stamps. On Inauguration Day, we had 32 million. That's a 45% increase. Americans in poverty on Inauguration Day, 39.8. Today, as of 27 March, 46.2. That's a 6.4 million increase. That's what I'm talking about, creating and expanding a welfare state. So, folks, do your research. Understand these ideologies. And this is a choice between two very clear futures for the United States of America. And, and I'm not going to back down. I'm not going to be afraid about the fact that I call a, a spade a spade. That's my responsibility to the American people.